Welcome to the channel. In a previous video, I talked through my preferred installation method of using a virtual machine for installing Home Assistant on a Synology NAS. This is because you get a supervisor install of Home Assistant and as such get add-ons and easy USB support. But there are some real advantages of installing in Docker. If you'd like to know the pros and cons of the VM and Docker installations, then check out the link in the pop-up above. In this video, we'll cover the Docker installation. So let's fire up the Synology, cast off the Docker ship and start the installation. Now to run Home Assistant on a Synology NAS, we're obviously going to need a model that can run Docker. In general, Docker runs on the majority of Synology NASes. However, there are exceptions. Now, if you search Google for a compatibility list, it will tell you that you need an Intel CPU as opposed to an ARM CPU and that it won't run on white models. However, it's much easier just to check out the Synology knowledge base and see if your model is on the approved list to run the container manager, which is the app within the Synology ecosystem that runs Docker containers. If you have a model that's not on this list, then run through the initial stages of the tutorial and see if you can install the container manager. Now, as with all things, even on those machines that are not supposed to support Container Manager or Docker, there are workarounds. I'll put a link in the description to a site that allows you to even run Docker on these machines, but do at your own risk. Open a browser window and navigate to your Synology NAS. Make sure you're logged in with a user that's part of your administrator group. Remember, it's a good practice to deactivate your admin user on setup so that if you are logging in with an admin, it might be a good time to create that new user and deactivate their admin login. The application that allows Docker containers in Synology NAS is called the Container Manager. If you don't have the Container Manager, we'll be installing it now. Press the four symbols in the top right hand corner. Search for and select Package Manager. Search for Container Manager. Now press Install for Container Manager. The package will download and install. Once installed, press Open. Select Registry in the left-hand menu. In the search field on the top right, search for Home Assistant, all one word. The first result that will show up will be Home Assistant slash Home dash Assistant. Select this one. Press Download. The installation will prompt you to select a tag. This is the version of the application. Leave this as latest and press Apply. The container manager will download the container. This is an image of 1.68 gigabytes, so it will take some time to download. The container manager will automatically drop you into the image screen in the left-hand menu. Here you can see the Home Assistant image that we just downloaded. If we navigate across into the file station, we can see the container manager has automatically created a shared folder called Docker, which is where it will store the Docker containers. Select Enable Auto Restart so that Home Assistant restarts if it crashes or the NAS has to restart for whatever reason, such as a power outage. Select Next. In the advanced settings, we need to make a few changes. In volume settings, press Add Folder. Select the shared folder for Docker. Press Create Folder. Type in a name. I suggest Home Assistant, no spaces. And press OK. Select the Home Assistant folder you just created and press Create Folder again. This time, type Config and press OK. Your directory structure should look like the one on screen with the config highlighted. Press Select. Now we just need to assign this. In the field to the right of the folder structure you just created, type slash config. Now don't press Next just yet. Scroll down to the Environmental section. Press the plus Add in the Environmental section. In the newly created variable section, type TZ for time zone. In the value field, you'll need to type your time zone. A full list of valid time zones can be found in the link in the description. So in my case, Australia forward slash Sydney. Scroll down to the network section. Use the drop down to change bridged to host. Now you can press next. Review your settings and if you are happy with these, then press done. Your container should now start. Now we can go and view our home assistant that is running in a container on our Synology NAS. Open a browser and navigate to your NAS IP address and instead of suffixing with colon 5000 for your NAS login page, change this to colon 8123 and press enter. 
This will bring up a login page for your new Home Assistant instance running in a Docker container that is running within the Container Manager on your NAS. Press Create My Smart Home. Create a username and password and press Create Account. Type in your home location or a general location if you have security concerns and press Next. Optionally activate Analytics back to Nabucasa and press Next. Home Assistant will automatically try to discover devices on your network. Press Finish. You'll be dropped into the landing dashboard for your new Home Assistant instance. And we're done. So that's Home Assistant running in a Docker container by using Container Manager or running on your Synology NAS. If you wish to use IP-based sensors only, you can stop here and congratulations. However, the vast majority of you will want to use ZigBee or Z-Wave or Bluetooth as your communication protocols. And that's what the next video in the series of Synology videos will cover. Check out the link in the description below on how to install these vital components. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to access to similar material, then subscribe, or maybe you become a channel member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you install Home Assistant in a Docker container, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.